Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to dominate on Skarner here in Season 11. For your runes, you're going to want Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak with Celerity and Water Walking. For your secondary runes, super important. Approach Velocity gets a lot of work done with your E, Blue Smite, and Chem Tank. And Free Boots. We're going to level up our Q first. We're going to chill right here, get a ward down, make sure they don't invade us on our opposite side jungle. Generally, you want to take red buff last in your clear out on Skarner. That way, you have it for 1v1s and ganks without red buff. Skarner ganks are a bit lackluster. Plus, we're gonna get a leash from our bot lane, so that's a win win. The better leash you get, the better it is to play Skarner. You can generally 1v1 enemy junglers if they're tanks or mages, as long as it's not Elise, because Elise is uh, basically an AP Grace. So, like Echo or Evelyn, you should be able to beat. It's a Kane with Dark Harvest, so we should be able to beat him 1v1. As long as you're inside your spy, your clear speeds are pretty fast. You can do a five camp clear and get to scuttle on time. Should be able to kite this back as you go. It follows quickly and you move super fast. We're moving at 414. That's faster than most champions who have tier two boots. And that's all because of the spire. We're still technically in it. Just make sure you're in it when you're taking your camps. Just getting a feel for my lanes. I'm gonna go use my E on the wolves. You wanna try to hit the whole camp. Very nice. I'll pull this back. I'm gonna take this and I'll get my W. You don't wanna use your W until you're around halfway through the lane. Right about there. That way you can still use the shield part. That wasn't the best E in the world, but you do need to pull the Raptors over to this area. That way you can fight it inside of your Spire attack speed. We'll get our red buff, then we can fight uh, the Scuttle Crab against Kane. It looks like we have, well, we had mid pry. I don't know what happened. So that kill's taking up some space. Looks like they lane swapped. I'm gonna go ahead and smite that. We're gonna push. Timo has too big of a wave, so we'll just come over here, grab our spire. Looks like we're about to fight a cane for it. I didn't really need to use my W yet. That was a bit wasteful. Kane knows he can't fight me. I'm full HP and I still have refill. He was missing a big chunk of HP. I'll go for double scuttle. Run her down. Gonna run up. Ooh, she dodged it. She has a tiny hitbox. We'll just leave with our phase rush. I can't believe my E missed. You generally want to get as close as possible, but I was running out of space to to use my E before she'd get to her turret. And hold on to our W here. There's no reason to really use it for a scuttle. It's just a speed up and shield. The scuttle can't hurt you and it can't really get away from me either. At least it shouldn't. Right, here we go. We got our W. This is warded though. I'm gonna flash on her. Need to stay on the MF now. Very nice. I'll help him shove wave now. On your first back on Skarner, you want to really look to get full bomby cinder. It's gonna speed up your clears dramatically and Tune up your 1v1s. Vayne really shouldn't stay for that. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. I literally... Oh, I went back to stretch and scratch my arm. Well played by Kane, I guess. That was kind of scummy. If all of us were paying attention, that would have been free is the sad part. <laughs> Heck, if I was just paying attention, it would have been free. Yeah, you want to go for Chem Tank. Pick up a Control Ward since we can. Can afford it. We went ahead and picked up Cloth Armor as well. Can be really useful. Skarner does fall off a little bit in the late game. Do keep that in mind. Phase Rush will keep your ult relevant in the late game since you'll be moving super fast with your ults. So one of the nice things about Phase Rush Skarner is it's way better than Ghost Skarner. Phase Rush is basically twice as fast as Ghost in a much faster time frame. 
Go for our wolves. We may just make another play bot side. Kane's overstaying. Kane's still on the map. He's still there. I can go invade his blue side. I think I'll just do that. If he overstays, I can kill him with my item advantage. So I'll just wrap raptors into his blue side. He's just, he's still on the map. He's at full HP, so I don't think he's really in a hurry to reset. Take him out. Yeah, it looks like I can go fight Kane right now. And I already have the neutral spire, so I'm pretty fast. Looks like he's on wolves or, yeah, he's on wolves. I should have gotten my spire first. smite that. I'm gonna kill him. Alright, I should have taken the Spire first. That's my bad. That was a lot of movement speed I missed out on. I gave him Red Essence. If it was Conquer Kane, I would avoid these type of fights, but since it's Blue Kane, like, Red Kane, Dark Harvest sucks on, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, why did he do that? I'm not even level 6, and kills pretty fast. Plus, Teemo's gonna be there. <clears throat> I was really forced, because I was already out. That should be a double stun. I don't know why Pantheon... Yeah, just kill him. <laughs> why Why do I feel like Pantheon is abandoning me here? I'm so confused. That was... <laughs> Alright. It was weird because Pantheon wanted to fight. He ulted in. And then once I'm there, he's just running away at full HP quarter mana. That's so bizarre. That is... <laughs> It's kind of funny. Alright. We are pretty strong now, though. We'll back on a full chem tank. I'll do my golems into red buff. With the phase rush, you can take a lot of aggro, just like a Nunu does, and you slip out of their grasp very fast very uh, consistently i will say since this build doesn't have tenacity in it if they do have a lot of stuns which they don't then you can get merc treads they really only have senna snare and tmo blind other than that they have no cc so i'll probably just end up going for i guess they have tmo kale yeah they're, they're triple 80 i'll just go for tabbies the chem tank will give me all the magic resists i need to deal with their two mages I'm not going to use my E, because that just takes one more auto there anyways. I'll just save it for wraps. Alright, let's go grab these guys. I want to back on full chem tank. Whenever your R's up, you're going to be looking for ganks, or if the enemies are just overshoved. None of them are overshoved except for bot lane right now, so I'll work my way over there, plus my R will be up by then. And the mid game, or I should say, once you're level 6 and up, every time your R is ready to use, or every time your chem tank's up, is generally where you're going to be looking for picks. Picks and ganks. Use my W here. I don't think she has flash. I'm gonna phase rush her back into my vein. That's the power of phase rush right there. I could solo this guy. Uh, Kale's backing, she's not very healthy. Stun him, hit him with Q. I'm gonna go after her instead. Got you, bitch! Oh, <laughs> Give me that stun, baby! I don't think I can get her. Oh, she had barrier too. She could have baited me out harder. I'll go for dragon. We have a spire over there already, so. Come on, Janna. Bada boom. Three dragon. Go for scuttle next. Nice. One max W second. E max second isn't bad. E max second is more of a Skarner top thing. Skarner top may even max E first, but uh, I, eh, maybe second. But for Skarner jungle, 
W max seconds is better for the movement speed. Because you have to close the distance on ganks. People are going to run from you every time you gank. Plus, in team fights, getting that phase rush is super nice. You really shouldn't play Skarner top, though. It's not that strong. And Skarner top has a lot of bad matchups, and even its good matchups aren't that favorable. There's only like one person who I know who does Skarner top, and uh, even though he's the best Skarner top, and you consider his win rate and uh, games played, it's I mean it's still impressive that he's a high level Skarner top player, but still like, Skarner top's just not strong. Is what I'm trying to say. Skarner jungle's decent. I'm gonna ping out the cane. We're gonna go ahead and pick up plated steel caps and we're gonna go straight into dead man's plates. We're gonna W from base. My chem tank's ready to use. I could go even gank mid. It's a little harder because of the Kel R. She times her R properly. She'll dodge most of the Lux. Yeah, she that Kel could just R there and dodge like all of that. I'll chem tank. Oh, yeah, I can't do anything. I was thinking about ulting one of them, but I'm just so far away from my turrets. And I think Kel still has R, too. Got her. Nice Pantheon stun. That set that up. Nice. Kane backed off. I am full item, so I can crush him. I'll get this plate first. Drag him off here to the side. Bada boom. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have the items to fight me. There's just no way. Timo may come get me. I got to pull out. Timo's missing. I'm just missing too much HP. He's probably over there if I had to guess. Wow. Surprised. I'll take Scuttle and I'll go over there. It, oh, yeah, he's still top. What a goose. He's baiting Pantheon. Pantheon got the kill, though. Pantheon's not balanced right now at all. Pantheon's a strong mid laner. He has one of the highest mid lane win rates. He's a viable top lane, viable jungler, and a uh, high A tier support right now. He's just an insane champion. Pantheon and set. And play every role. With that being said, I think Pantheon's better right now. Alright. There's really nothing to gank right now. Everyone's missing. We'll go for Herald. They might just be AFK. This game was a bit of a... They, they lost too hard early. If Kane went Conquer, they might have had a chance, but... Going Dark Harvest against Skarner is pretty useless. Like he has zero all-in potential versus me. If he had Conquer, he could probably solo me since I don't have Conquer. Nice. All right, we're gonna run this guy down. It's a Kemp tank. W blue smite. Hit map point blank range with stun. We'll pull him back. That was kind. Of, oh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Just gets yoinked all the way back. We'll drop peril when it lets us. Start wrapping this game up. Very close to a full dead man's as well. Dead man's is huge. Oh, I thought I was trying to give the minions, but what is he doing? He didn't even try to take the cannon. Where's Timo at? Oh, looks like I don't want to fuck with Kel. She's going to press R on herself. And we're going to die under the turret. How do you help Pantheon? That's a stun. That Kel R really hurts. Kel R has insanely high base damage. Go ahead and take his Gromp, then I'll take Scuttle Crab. 
It's actually, with our score, you'd think that this game, like, all of my laners hard won, but in fact, Lux is 0-2. That's crazy. Well, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this Skarner Jungle Commentary Guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is KingSticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.